blood is still fresh. Typical kitchen utensils. My esteemed patrons, <laughs> presenting my latest delicacy. Ah, don't be greedy. Don't hurry to eat, please. You'll always be my most well-regarded clients.
putrid slime is everywhere. I'll take a sample for Dr. Grant to examine. stinks even worse in the bodies. Those bags stink worse than a barrel of rotten fish. Or... Fisk. Whatever. Quick. Bring them in before the neighbors see us. Are those the last ones? I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? Okay, let's see what we have here. Bring them in before the neighbors see us. I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? <laughs> Members of a cult were disposing of bodies in the basement of the shop. The corpses merged together to form a huge monstrosity.
I visited that old shop you mentioned and found a few things you may be interested in. Even took a sample for studying. What did you discover? I was sure a huge creature could not have wandered inside unnoticed. The cult of the Fecund Mother was dumping corpses of their victims in the shop's basement. Hmm. Professor Westerbrook's research does suggest the Acheronians are attracted to dead bodies. No. This one formed from the corpses themselves. There was a putrid slime on everything. Maybe that's the cause of this unnatural rebirth. You said you took a sample of it. But I can conduct some experiments on rats. If your theory holds true, what a marvelous discovery. I paid a visit to that awful restaurant. I'd call it a den of evil, but that would be an understatement. Good grief. What happened? Uh, the cook was mad, a cannibal, and fed those jumping monstrosities on human flesh. He called them patrons. That restaurant was a destination for Oakmont's elite, many of whom disappeared shortly after the flood. I think we now know why. Are you suggesting that it was cannibalism that caused such a horrific transformation? These days, alas, cannibalism is not so rare. Could it be that all the Cocytians, as Westerbrook calls them, were once men? We've discovered a lot of disturbing information about the wild beasts. What are you gonna do with it? Well, I've already contacted the university. We'll cooperate to further study these phenomena. The public deserve to know. It would help them to protect themselves and others. <laughs> it would cause mass hysteria. Doesn't the city have enough problems already? I must insist you keep all this confidential. I thought you wanted help. And I will. But we must prepare our advice carefully, with scientific rigor. We cannot rush this, my friend. Bye.